Coach? You guys can just ask questions in the show. Okay. Whatever you guys. Coach, overall impression today, first time on the court with fans in the stands, and uh, seemed like it shot pretty well over 60%. Yeah, we, we turned the ball over too much, and uh, we've been really, really struggling at the defensive end. We have the whole preseason, um, and that's primarily because of the injuries. Our two best defensive players are Berrick and Dillon, and they've both been out for over five weeks, and we've had to play freshmen. So we're really struggling at the defensive end. We did a very poor job tonight protecting the basketball with 21 turnovers against a non-pressing team. And we also did a very poor job of rebounding the basketball. So we're not where we want to be. Um, there's reasons for that with the injuries, but uh, Appalachian State is, is, is a team that, if we played this way tonight, App State would have beaten us by 20, realistically. They got their top eight players back from an NCAA team. <clears throat> How do you feel that Nelly Jr. Joseph's game has evolved this year? He looks like he's in, in better shape than maybe last year. I thought he was better last year than this year so far in practices and as well, so I'm hoping he picks it up. Okay. And how about Quinn Zelinski uh, coming in, uh, has strong game shooting, 19. He seems like he's got very good hands under the basketball. It took a quick pass in the second half, put it right into the basket. He's a good player. He, Nelly and him just turned it over 11 times. You, you can't do that. An Appalachian State team is so experienced that you can't turn the ball over from two positions 11 times. You, need, you have to turn it over 11 times for the game, never mind two players. They, they, neither guy played real well. How about Elijah Joyner coming in as a, a graduate student player, uh, uh, shot the ball well tonight and uh, had uh, 20 points, a couple of three assists, uh, uh, six or seven shooting. How, tell, tell us about his game and also the leadership a graduate student can bring to a team. He's a good leader. He didn't play very good defense tonight. He's a good leader. He played okay. I thought Parker and him uh, had, had decent games. Uh, but, you know, he got beaten too much to the basket off the bounce. Offensively, he did a good job. Uh, Coach, you have plenty of new faces and new transfers this year. Um, you know, how has it been so far getting the team that gels the unit and come together? Well, we're not gelling because of the injuries. Uh, we're way behind defensively. Um, and, you know, if, if I've got to play freshmen off the bench, we're not going to beat too many teams because those freshmen are very, very weak defensively. I've got to get Dylan and, you know, Barrett got hurt again tonight, probably a concussion. Um, but if we, play, if we have to play the freshmen, we're in trouble. And uh, going off that point about Dylan, um, you know, it seemed like even though he's been injured, he's been kind of like a positive presence on the bench. Uh, how has he been handling it? And has he been like a, a mentor during this time? He does a great job um, injured of being a leader. Unfortunately, he's, he's very injury prone. He was out most of last season. He's out most of this season. He's the Colton and him have been injury prone since I've been here, but he does give a lot off the court. And uh, it looked like your trademark press was uh, back today. Is that something that you plan on using more now that you've had a full If, if we were... If, if we were at full, um, you know, I can't wear the starters out because if I have to go to the bench, we're in trouble. And, you know, we, we just made so many defensive mistakes tonight giving up. I think, so out of their 12-3s, I think our freshmen gave up eight of them by uh, doing the incorrect things. And uh, just offensively, um, it didn't look like you guys – Took too many threes um, for most of the game. Is that, you know, by design? Is, are you no, we, like they just played good defense on it. I mean, offensively, we did we did some really good things. But, you know, you can't give up an undermanned, undersized team. You can't give up 20 second shots and turn it over 21. I mean, we had um, 91 points turning it over 21 times and, and giving up 20 offensive rebounds. So the pace was good. Um, we can be a good offensive basketball team. That doesn't concern me. I, I am very concerned about the defense, overly. I've been that way uh, since Greece. We, we have just not played good defense like I want. And uh, my last one for you. I uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on Ryan Myers and you know how he's kind of improved from year one to year two. Ryan understands the style of play that we want to play. He pushes it. He, he thinks score. Ryan, I've been very happy with Ryan. His defense is not great, but offensively I'm very happy with him. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Coach, I was just going to ask you about Tyson and Jolly. Uh, had 11 points today. What does he bring? What has his path been to Iona? What does he bring to this team? He's a good athlete. 
I would, you know, I'm used to coaching guys like Rozier and Donovan Mitchell, and, the, and when I say that, I'm not talking about talent. They would get me seven, eight rebounds a game, and both Elijah and, Ty, and Tyson uh, gave me a combination of four rebounds. So I was disappointed in that area. Uh, they're both great guys. They, they, it's, they're great additions, but they didn't rebound the basketball, and that's why we gave up 20-second shots, because we have to switch a lot. These teams coming in here, like, like App State plays like this team, but on steroids. They're, you know, they, they'll take 30, 40 threes, and if you don't switch properly, they take you off the bounce much better than this basketball team. So we, we have a work cut out for us in, in, in eight or nine days. What would you work on over the next 10 days preparing for All defense. All defense. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay.